Big story coverage continues. Replacement of the East Shore Expressway Bridge in East Providence is nearly complete. We visited the work site on Warren Avenue today, which remains closed to traffic right now. But as Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods tells us, things could look very different for tomorrow morning's commute. Rhode Island Department of Transportation says they are just hours away from completing the new expressway bridge in East Providence. Behind me is the new bridge and we're now finalizing the installation process. Right off closed the expressway that carries traffic from the I-195 East and the Wampanoag Trail so they could demolish and replace the bridge in about 80 hours. The new expressway bridge was built in a vacant lot right next to the old one. Uh, it's always exciting to be able to do something innovative. Uh, so that's something where we're continuing to do on all of our projects. Look at the, the, be the best way to put these things together. Um, so it's, it goes together well and it's, it's a little, little impact to the public as well. It's a technique RIDOT plans to use on some of the other bridge projects slated to be fixed under the governor's roadworks plan. Uh, after this, crews will actually be mobilizing uh, a little bit west, east of here to the uh, sister bridge, the McCormick Quarry Bridge, and we're going to be doing a very similar operation down there in about two weeks. Now again, we're told that the roadways will be reopened by Tuesday at 5 a.m., but that all depends on the construction schedule today. Any changes or updates will be posted on our website. With the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.